This is a little tutorial on how to use a program I discovered, IMPPG, which is very good at aligning a whole series of images. Uh, in this case, we've got the moon. So if I show you that one, and we now scan through all the images, there's a big jump there, but you can see that the telescope was drifting slightly each frame the moon shifted over a touch uh, and then I had a big jump there so there's 62 frames in this now Registax does not like I have found especially when these are big images I mean these are 3300 by 2500 Registax does not cope well unless you line them all up uh, together so the program is, is quite simple to use so if we run FG there so here we've got the the moon pictures again uh, and when I first loaded this up I didn't know what to do uh, where to look but then I luckily went to tools and immediately there we've got a line image sequence which seems to be exactly what we want to do so standard add files arrangement if I go to my samples here click that one scroll down shift click the last one which highlights all of them open there they are now sub pixel alignment is supposed to be very very accurate um, a fraction of a pixel changes can be made this bit here you can either crop to an intersection so it will chop out unnecessary pieces it might though then put the, the moon image right on the border so we want a little bit of a gap so I'm going to have I'm going to go to pad to bounding box stabilize high contrast features would be good for the moon because the tops of craters and things will be bright uh, those are important bits so, uh, and then in, inside a crater it will be dark so you, that would be quite good this bit would be for solar images uh, we need to choose we've made one here called aligned select the folder uh, there we go it's going to go in there and then start processing now this may take a while uh, it does a little bit of mathematics here translation vectors is how much to shift things and in what direction and it's got up the 61 images as I said there's four done this section has been accelerated in terms of video uh, it would have taken about five or six minutes so I have just sped the video up to get over the boring bit as quickly as possible <laughs> processing completed so if we look in aligned there they all are now it quite neatly puts the word aligned afterwards so if you didn't remember to make a directory to put things in uh, you could always search for it but let's have a look now so we load the first image and now I shall scan through each image one at a time and I can see that clearly they are not shifting individual craters are a little bit of a drift as this that is very good alignment um, so it does seem to be quite an accurate program 